Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about water, the most important prep, so stay tuned. Okay, so here is a bunch of different types of um, water filtration systems um, and or water itself. And water is the most important prep. Everybody should know that. You cannot survive without water. Um, and redundancy as far as water filtration goes is very, very important. I'm going to show you a couple things here that I have. I have this life straw. Um, you literally just uh, stick one end down into the water and drink out of it. I only have one of these. I probably should have a few more. Uh, you're not going to be able to gather large amounts of water to boil for cooking or anything with this, but if you're in a pinch, you could stick this in a river, stream, or something like that and get some water. So I think everybody should have a few life straws. Um, I have, this is one of my Sawyer mini water filters. I have a couple of them. And if you are looking at somewhere to start your preps as far as water goes, besides having bottled water, which you can see I have a bunch of back there, um, get yourself a Sawyer mini. It's like $20, $25. It'll filter 100,000 gallons of water. And in this kit, I'll show you what it has in it um, because I have another one in this little water kit. Um, I got this little blue pencil bag for like 50 cents after um, like the, all the people had gone through the school supplies. And in here I keep a couple different things. First I have the tablets. You can find these in the camping section of your local whatever Walmart store, uh, Target I'm sure, and online. I'm going to link all of these items below. But this one, you put two drops per quart of water. Um, one of these just helps. This is the iodine and then one of them just helps neutralize it so it doesn't have that dark color and the iodine taste, which I really don't mind. If I'm thirsty, I'm going to drink it. Um, but these little tiny tablets in here, they're easy to carry around. I keep these in my bug out bag. It's very handy that Nalgene bottles are one quart, 32 ounces. And also this big smart water bottle is just about 32 ounces or one quart. It's a little bit over. But here is the Sawyer Mini. This is one of my other ones. This is what they come with. They come with this little squeeze bottle thing. What do you call this? A little pouch. Um, you can dunk this underwater if you're near a stream or, you know, a uh, lake, something like that. And just fill this up with water and then obviously the arrow here is to show you where the flow of water should go you literally just screw it to the top and then you take this off drink directly from that and it's filtering as it goes up through there and the other good thing about this is it will fit onto a smart water bottle so you could um, if the water was real bad, put a couple drops of your iodine um, tablets in here. Let it sit for 30 minutes. You know, just take it straight from whatever water source. Put the iodine tablets in there. You probably don't even need to do that with the Sawyer Mini water filter, but I think as many um, filtration methods as possible is safer because you do not want to drink bad water. But um, there you go. That's another way. That's a lot of water um, that it will hold. So, and then it just, the little Sawyer Minis come with this little uh, flushing system, which you use to flush it. You're going to want to flush it a few times um, when you first get it because it has like charcoal and all other kind of filter stuff in there. Um, you're going to want to prime it before you start using it. So that's what that little pump is for and just for cleaning it. So in my little pouch here, I got a couple water filtration types. And then this one here, Katadyne, this is the Katadyne Hiker Pro water filtration system. I used this same one when I was backpacking and I absolutely loved it. Um, I was up on the Pacific Crest Trail in Oregon and it was absolutely pristine water. So not much um, other filtration besides this was required. But basically you have this um, inlet hose here, this side, has like there's a little pre-filter you can't really see it but there's a little pre-filter here 
This is just like a bobber so that, um, you know, depending on how deep the water is, you don't want this to go down into the um, silt and soil and stuff. You just kind of change the bobber height so that it's not resting on the bottom and sucking up sand. But this is one filter, goes through the inlet hose, and then it'll bring it up through this filter body here. And then this other hose, let's see if I could do this. This is the outlet hose. So this end here will kind of squeeze onto right there and just pretend it's on there. <laughs> Once it is, you're going to just pump like this, pump in and out. It'll take the water through the inlet hose, filter it. This is a very high quality filter. And then from here, this little do bob, you can take this off, but this little thing happens to fit perfectly onto the Nalgene bottle. So your clean water is coming in and it's going straight into your Nalgene bottle. So you can just let it sit like that while you're you know, pumping the water in. And it's just a really convenient system. I really like it. I was out for weeks and weeks and didn't have to replace the filter. I honestly don't even know how long it would be before I needed to replace the filter. But um, if you need filters for anything, make sure you have extra ones. Okay, I'll put this away later. <laughs> Next is, okay, so obviously bottled water. You're going to store bottled water. These will break down. I actually had my first incidence of a one-gallon uh, bottled water breaking down. The plastic um, just finally got brittle, and it, it sprung a little leak in my closet. And you guys had warned me about that, and I kept saying, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I'll put these bottle uh, bottles of water in something else, but... I went a good year with them in there, and it finally just sprung a leak. Um, thank goodness I got to it before it got too bad, though. But um, this is just water that I'm kind of going through right now. This um, this one here, I think it's seven gallons. This is six gallons of water. Um, I just kind of hide this away in my kitchen. It's, it's perfectly good drinking water, and I'll kind of um, use it every once in a while and then refill it. But this is a nice BPA-free container that you can pick up and take with you. It's heavy. I mean, it's six gallons of water. What is that, like 40-something pounds of water to carry? But you got to do what you got to do. Um, I put these in the video because um, stockings actually make a good pre-filter. So if you have some water that has some uh, soot, you know, it's dirty, It's you can um, run the water through a stocking. To kind of pre-filter it. So they're good things to have on hand. And they don't take up much space. Um, and then bleach. Bleach for filtering your water. I'm sorry, purifying your water. I'm going to put the measurement of how much bleach per gallon or quart. I'm going to do a little pop-up of how much bleach you will use to purify your water. Never ever get bleach gel or the scented bleach. You should always keep some of this on hand. And then, um, even after filtering, sometimes a lot of water will need to be boiled. And sometimes if you're under a boil advisory after a hurricane, storm, power outage, that kind of thing, um, if people don't think about how they're going to boil their water. Um, this is just one way and just one thing that I like to have because it also goes in my bug out bag, uh, the jet boil. And it's just a little portable camping stove. So... Put the water in here. Um, this thing comes off. I'm not going to show you how to use it. If you know what a jet boil is, if you don't, then go look it up. <laughs> um, but some gas and a container to boil the water in. I just like the jet boil. You can do a camping stove with your Coleman gases, um, that kind of thing. But make sure you have a way to do that, whatever your preferred method is. Last but not least... And I'm going to take you into my kitchen. This one here took me a while to invest in, but I am absolutely 100% happy that I did. So I'm going to go show you my LexPure water filter. Okay, don't judge all the other stuff around my sink and dishes and all that stuff, but this is my LexPure water filtration system. It's a gravity-fed water filter. Um, very similar to the Big Berkey, almost identical actually. It has the same 
um, capacity, same setup really. Um, mine, I want to say it was around 275 when I got it because it was on sale. I'm going to link these down below because um, I got mine on My Patriot Supply and I am now an affiliate of My Patriot Supply. I strongly suggest them and the Alexa Pure system in particular over the Big Berkey. Just my personal opinion because their water... Let's see if I can get in there. Okay. See that little filter? I only use one filter because I don't go through enough water to justify putting two filters in there, but you can put up to four of these filter components. Um, that one there also filters fluoride, which I think is very important. And so the best bang for your buck, as opposed to having to buy separate fluoride filters with Big Berkey, the Alexa Pure filters already do it for you. So. Yeah, I just, I love having this thing. It makes me feel secure. Um, and I love drinking the water from this and cooking with it because it tastes like the best water you've ever tasted in your life. So if you don't have one, it is an investment. It is pricey, but you're saving the environment because you're not going through bottled water and you're not having to install some super expensive filtration system in your home. And I'm sure I'm forgetting other things, but the last thing I'm going to mention today is a bucket. Lots and lots of buckets. Um, if you have to catch rainwater, if it rains in your state, like I am very thankful that my state does, um, you can catch rainwater and then filter it from there. Um, also, something I would suggest is like a shower curtain liner or something that you can use to set up a rain catchment system. If you have the big rain barrels and all that, that is way more awesome, but I'm just kind of starting with the cheap stuff here. Um, but I, I like the white buckets because I can see what's, you know, if it's rainwater, I can see if there's been, if there's leaves and like junk and bugs and stuff um, piling up in there. The blue buckets are just fine too, but uh, me with my OCD, I like to see what's in it. So the white buckets are <laughs> a little easier to kind of see what's in that water before you filter it. But yeah, guys, make sure, make sure if you are starting prepping or even if you're well along your journey, make sure that your water filtration and water purification is redundant. Thanks for joining me for another video, guys. Hopefully that was helpful to you or just a reminder if you already know you need to have your water filtration system. Maybe a couple things here were new or a couple things you didn't think of. But water is the most important prep besides hope and faith. Water. <laughs> Um, so you guys keep preparing and I will see you in the next video.